Hello Disney Infinity Trainers, welcome to a Disney Infinity Next recap and kind of discussion type of video. So I'm going to go over what was discussed in Disney Infinity Next in case you missed it, and then I'm going to leave it open for potential discussion and speculation on what's next. I'll try not to use that word too many times. So it's interesting to note first I will say this that Disney Infinity Next has been revealed as a kind of platform for announcements for Disney Infinity. And we'll get into some more details on that a little later on. But this is not a one-time deal. We will be seeing Disney Infinity Next announcements like this one in the future of Disney Infinity. Just to kind of set that up. So that's really exciting. Now... Overall, the quick review of Disney Infinity Next, of the Spring 2016 Disney Infinity Next, was really just confirmation of what we've already seen, spoiled and leaked, that's going to be coming to Disney Infinity 3.0. So, all of the characters that were spoiled by retailers and other sources are all now confirmed for the most part. So nothing really new. If you've been keeping up with all of that, which I'm sure if you if you pay attention to any social media or anything involving Disney Infinity at all, you probably are well aware of all those things. So recap here. Ant-Man, Vision, Black Panther, and Baloo were all confirmed. All of those are coming to Disney Infinity. Now, JV started out by saying in the next announcement that Disney Infinity 3.0 will be the largest collection of content ever released in a Disney game. And off the top of my head, I would say that yes, so far Disney Infinity 3.0 is has surpassed 2.0 and 1.0 as far as how much content is produced and created within this series and it would make sense that if 3.0 is going to continue for a long time which it seems to be the case this will be the largest ever Disney property related game so that's something that we can all be excited about to be part of first they talked about Zootopia the figures for Zootopia just came out today and I did a couple character reviews for Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps as well as a power disc pack review all of that is stuff that we've been expecting next they talked about Marvel Battlegrounds again confirming Black Panther Ant-Man and Vision alongside Captain America who we've already known about and they showed the launch trailer for Marvel Battlegrounds, so that's something that's fun to look forward to. They'll probably be posting that as well for you to watch. Now lastly, in regards to Marvel Battlegrounds, they did announce that there are even more new Marvel figures that will be coming out. I believe he said this year. It might have been next year. In my notes, I wrote down this year, so that's something that can be very exciting. But either way, whether it's this year or next, they did confirm that there will be more Marvel characters coming to Disney Infinity 3.0. So that's very exciting too. If you look at the lineup of movies that's coming out, we have Doctor Strange. We have, I believe, Captain Marvel at some point. We have Avengers 3. So there's a lot coming up in Marvel that can be represented in Disney Infinity. And that's very exciting. Next, they talked about the Jungle Book, and they talked a little bit about the kind of discrepancies between having the live-action Baloo, given that the live-action Jungle Book film is coming out soon, and the classic version. And of course, I think many would agree with me that the classic version of Baloo looks wonderful. He looks so happy. Uh, I, I don't think they could have done it better by having the live action version. It would just be a bear. It would literally just be a bear. <laughs> so I think it makes a lot of sense to have the classic version of Baloo because he's such a such a familiar character to all of us and he's such a fun guy, fun bear. Um, I, I just look forward to him being released in Disney Infinity. They showed off some gameplay as well, revealing some of his ranged attacks, his combat attacks. He can hit his foes with a palm tree, and then he throws fruit at them. And his special is where he kind of bumps them with his butt. <laughs> uh, you have to see it to believe it, but it Baloo just looks like such a fantastic addition to the game. And he's probably the character I am most excited for right now. 
And that was really it for Disney Infinity Next. It wasn't a very long segment, and they really just confirmed everything we knew. However, in closing, they did leave us with a couple little hints as to what we can expect in the next Disney Infinity Next. JV said something along the lines of, Next time, we will be taking a look at everyone's favorite fish and taking a peek through the looking glass. So... That basically confirms, um, in a way, I mean, it hints at what's to come in Disney Infinity, which is extremely interesting here. Now, what Disney Infinity, or sorry, what Disney movie, Disney or Pixar movie, is coming out soon that has to do with fish? Of course, Finding Dory. And that's interesting because if they put fish in the game, I really wouldn't be able to imagine how that could work but that's why it's exciting because we get to see something brand new in Disney Infinity and then it's been heavily speculated and, and even heavily hinted at that Through the Looking Glass, Alice in Wonderland Through the Looking Glass, the live action Alice in Wonderland film that's coming out soon would be represented in Disney Infinity so I think we can expect an Alice figure, a Mad Hatter figure and a lot of people are saying a time figure. I guess time is a character in the new movie and uh, there's a lot of discussion as to whether classic Alice or real life Alice or classic Mad Hatter or real Mad Hatter would be best fit, best suited for Disney Infinity. It seems like the community is pretty split on the matter. Um, my personal opinion is that I would enjoy a classic Mad Hatter over a Johnny Depp Mad Hatter, but whatever we get, it'll be exciting and I'm looking forward to it. Now, JV did also say that there is at least one new playset from all of the four main Disney Infinity properties. So, Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars. There is at least one playset from each of those. Although, later on, he did confirm or did, sp did say that the Marvel Battlegrounds does in is included in that description as the Marvel playset. So that kind of crosses that one out, but it means that we have a new Disney, a new Pixar, and a new Star Wars playset to look forward to within the lifespan of Disney Infinity 3.0. There's a lot coming. Think about it. It's the beginning of the year right now, and we have a long ways to go till the end of 2016. I really can't wait to see what we what they have in store for us with Disney Infinity. Now, after the Disney Infinity Next, they hosted a live Q&A on Twitch where they did some gameplay and answered some questions and I wrote down some notes of some noteworthy things that they said in that event. So let's go ahead and go over some of the things now. JV did clarify that each episode of Disney Infinity Next that will be forthcoming will cover about a couple months worth of new content. So, you know, this one, the Spring 2016 Disney Infinity Next basically covers the, the whole month of March, so maybe we can expect a new Disney Infinity Next within two or three months. They didn't confirm that, but I think it would make sense if they want to cover each segment of the year, because we don't know what's happening beyond March. Someone asked, will there be a 4.0? And this is something that also I've been speculating on, and I'm actually correct in guessing this. It was announced last week. Well, it wasn't really announced, but it was revealed last week that Disney Infinity would not have a presence on the floor at E3. Now, I went to E3 myself because of Disney Infinity last year. It was a fantastic experience. I cannot say enough of it. It was, it was just... It was really a lifetime experience and I'm really grateful to have give to have been given that opportunity by Disney Infinity. So by revealing that they won't have a floor presence in E3 and that they have this Disney Infinity Next segment that's debuting today, it really shows that it looks like we won't be getting a 4.0 and that Disney Infinity Next would be used as the platform for announcements in the future. That's what I speculated and I'm actually pretty correct in that. It seems as though that's going to be the case. Disney Infinity 3.0 will probably be spread across the, the next the next several months and maybe even the next year or two, though it wasn't said at all. JV just said that they're only able and ready to talk about content in 3.0 in the year 2016. So they don't want to talk about beyond 2016. Like I said, we are in the beginning of the year here, so there's a lot to come in the in the future. 
but it doesn't look like we're getting a 4.0 anytime soon. Disney Infinity so far has been every year. 1.0 came out in 2013, 2.0 in 2014, and then 3.0 in 2015. And here we are in 2016, and it looks like 3.0 is going to last us until the foreseeable future. So don't get your hopes up for 4.0 anytime soon. And that's actually a great thing because it means that the 3.0 starter pack will keep you covered for a long time. And I think that that's another awesome feature. Someone also asked about Scarlet Witch or just certain characters in general. And JV did say that certain characters, he didn't name any names, but certain characters, he knows a lot of people want these characters, but there are certain legal issues that surround those characters that prevent them from being easily created and accessed in Disney Infinity. And I think Scarlet Witch is probably the perfect example there, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, because there's the kind of that tension with Disney Marvel films and Fox Marvel, which includes, of course, X-Men and, and stuff like that, you know, they're really cautious about how they present certain characters in the Marvel Universe. I know that in Avengers 2 Age of Ultron, when they introduced Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, they didn't really specify their names in a, in a very blatant way. They didn't really talk about their backgrounds. They just kind of threw them in there and they were there. So, you know, I, I could see how that can be an issue. So it doesn't look like we'll be getting Scarlet Witch, even though she seems to be a very popular character. You can never say never, but it looks likely that we're not going to be seeing her anytime soon in Infinity. Another awesome question that was asked that we can all become more excited for is when is the Keyblade going to come out or when, at what point will we be able to access the Keyblade? Now, Nick Judy, sorry, Nick Judy, uh, Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps came out today, March 1st, and the Keyblade is still not unlocked. So in order to unlock the Keyblade, you need Nick and Judy, and then you need Black Panther, Vision, Ant-Man and Captain America. You need all those characters as well as everything that's been released in 3.0 prior. So even Boba Fett, all of the Force Awakens characters, all of the Inside Out characters, there's a hefty amount of characters that you need if you want to unlock that Keyblade. So keep that in mind. Um, March 15th, so basically, in essentially March 15th is when you can access the Keyblade because March 15th is when Panther, Vision, Ant-Man, and uh, Captain America all come out, and then everything else that you need to unlock the Keyblade will have been released already at that point. So um, if you don't have all the 3.0 characters, you have until March 15th. Oh, well, you don't have until March 15th. You, you can get them whenever you need to, but if you want that Keyblade, that is the earliest date where you can access it. And JV disclosed a little bit of a fun fact, but it was pretty much speculated over the course of the, the months. He said that a little fun fact was that the reason they didn't reveal Ant-Man when they were supposed to is because the costume that Ant-Man uses in Disney Infinity, the, the, the way that he looks in the game, will reveal how he looks in Civil War. And since they hadn't revealed Ant-Man's kind of new look in Civil War just yet, Disney Infinity was not allowed to release an image of him. So that's why we didn't get an Ant-Man confirmation back in July. And they, they really kind of hinted at it very heavily. And everyone knew that Ant-Man was coming, but they never said his name until now. This is literally the first moment in public where they've mentioned that Ant-Man is coming to Infinity. And so the last bit of information that I thought was interesting and relevant was that Marvel Battlegrounds will have a story mode. And after you complete the story mode, you get a little token, JV said, that allows you to try out new characters that you don't own in Marvel Battlegrounds. So you get a, a little trial token and it lets you test out characters like Black Panther, Vision, even some of the 2.0 ones if you don't own them. Now, he did mention that all of the characters in Marvel Battlegrounds will 
play a lot differently in the playset in Marvel Battlegrounds than they will in the toy box. So even all of the 2.0 Marvel characters, they're going to have different moves in Battlegrounds than they would in the toy box. So it's really worth getting as many of these characters as you can to try different things out. They also showed off the character selection screen and talked a little bit about how to load characters in the game. You can do four player local play, which is really exciting because what you do is you scan the character in the base and it scans it into the game and then you just do that for all of the characters that will be participating in that fight. So a lot of big information here, even though it's really nothing new and you probably knew what to expect if you've seen all the leaks leading up to this point, it's still really awesome to see that we have a lot of grounds covered at this point in Disney Infinity and it really looks like they're taking the Infinity platform and it's evolving. It's really growing and changing into probably the best and most detailed um, Toys to Life franchise out there. I mean it's quote unquote the best right now. It's selling the best at least and I think many fans of Disney Infinity would agree that you know it's pretty awesome. So. What do you all think of all of these changes, of all of these details, of all these new characters, even though they're technically not new because we already knew about them? What do you think about Finding Dory and th Alice Through the Looking Glass coming to Disney Infinity? And what other content do you want to see? What do you think of those four new playsets that they talked about? And are you excited for that Keyblade? Because I know I am. I just cannot wait for that. I'm going to wake up early on March 15th. I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy me some... Marvel characters. It's going to be crazy. All right. Well, I thank you very much for watching. I'm interested in seeing what you have to say. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you'd like to see more Disney Infinity and other video gaming content here on iStarly TV. I hope you have a great day.